Hi, Danny Ventura, the Boston Herald. We're here with Dorian McMenemy, swimmer at Algonquin High School. First, the first question that jumps out: What was it like swimming in the Olympics? Uh, it was a great experience. It's nothing I'd ever forget. It was a lot of fun. When you walk into the stadium for the opening ceremonies, take us through what that was like. Well, it was, they took us like we had to walk. It was like kind of like a parade, and there was a bunch of people on the outside. And once you enter. There was a bunch of lights and everything, and it was just unbelievable. How did you go about, you know, swimming for the Dominican? Uh, well, my mom is Dominican. She was born there, and she lived there her whole life. And so I have dual citizenship there, and I wanted to represent my mom's country. When did you start to realize that, you know, this could be a reality for you? Uh, when I was about 13, I was swimming with the bluefish, and my coach... We had people on our swim team that swam in the Olympics before and people that represented other countries that swam for Honduras and stuff. So he said I probably had to have a shot with the Dominican Republic team, so I tried out for the national team. Now, you didn't swim your first two years at Algonquin. How, you, you played other sports. How much do you think that, you know, did you miss swimming for the team? Uh, well, I wasn't on the team before, so junior year was my first year. And because I, I still did club swimming. So, and I was really into other sports too, so I wanted to be well-rounded still and play. As, it's unfortunate that swimming and basketball are the same season, otherwise I would have done both. And I know you played basketball your first two years. What made you decide to try swimming, come out for swimming at the high school last year? Well, I already spent two of my years doing basketball and I wanted to join the swim team as well. I didn't want to do just one sport all four years at the school. I wanted to do be well-rounded with all the sports. So when you're swimming like in the MIA state meet, for a lot of these kids, it's like this is the be-all, end-all. But for somebody who swim in the Olympics, it must have been just another meet for you. Yeah, it was just another meet. But it's still really big, and there's still a lot of competition there. Great. Thank you so much. All right, we're here with Gene Fedak, the head swimming coach at Algonquin. You, you knew Dorian was in the school for two years but didn't swim. Was it a tough temptation for you to stay away? I introduced myself to her her freshman year just so she knew I was here and I said if you're at all interested we would love to have you on the swim team but there was no pressure for me whatsoever. I had played three sports when I was in high school plus I swam. I knew the importance of being diversified and experiencing the whole high school sports scene. So I didn't want to put any pressure on her. I wanted it to be totally her decision. When she was ready, we would welcome her with open arms. What, as far as, you know, when, she, when you first get the word that she's going to swim for you, talk about your reaction. Well, of course, I was thrilled. I knew she would add to the strength that we already had on the team. We have great senior leadership in Drew Beeland and Jonathan Batista and our other seniors, and she was just going to make us even stronger. So, of course, I was thrilled to have her. How, how does she interact with the teammates? She is quiet. However, she already had a core group of friends on the team from basketball, uh, town recreation, basketball teams, and so forth. So she's been in the school. She knew the kids. And it's a close-knit school. Algonquin Regional High School is a great place to nurture kids and make friends and, and join two towns, Northboro and Southboro. So I knew she would fit right in very quickly. Great. Thanks so much.